go people today we're gonna do a video that i'm super excited about i've actually been waiting to do this video forever this is gonna be an homage to the 90s supermodels that were so iconic i want to pay some respect to naomi campbell cindy crawford claudia schiffer yasmin guri linda evangelista they just created this new gang of girls that like everybody just wanted to like be like and look to the look that i'm gonna create today is gonna be cindy crawford one thing that's crazy is that the complexion in the 90s was not amazing. They didn't contour the way we contour today. They actually kind of just did like a really big kind of contour in the cheek with like the blush and the bronzer and blush was like so major. Most people probably just put blush on, probably just like and went out the door. It was heavy, it was in your face. Also the brow. Everybody thinks that 90s brows were super, super thin. That's what happened late 90s. Early 90s, it was still kind of like coming off of the boy brow from the 80s. And it was a little bushiness. But the crazy thing is the shapes were not really right. If you had good brows, it was great. But ultimately, people had a lot of sperm brows. Not cute. I'll be honest with you. I never thought it was cute. And if you live in the Northeast, which is where I moved in the late 90s, it looked like an actual sperm. So it was like a little thing with like a tail. So this has been a trend that you guys know I've been going really hard into since last year. And as we go through the tutorial, I'm going to show you guys some of the tricks and trends that were really popular in those days which are so different from today and some of them are hard for me to do because they're completely opposite of what we do nowadays also there was no lashes they didn't do lashes like <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get straight into this. Now this makeup is not like the makeup that I do nowadays. We spend a lot of time on our complexion. That's not gonna be the focus here. The focus is actually gonna be on the lips, which is crazy to me. That just blows my mind. How are they surviving? How are they so pretty? Not fair. We're gonna do the complexion first because I believe in the 90s, that's what they would have started with. Now the crazy thing about the 90s as well is the complexion was matte. There was not a lot of highlight. There wasn't a lot of shimmer. There was, but not on the face. It was probably here and here. I feel like to me, like I loved Revlon back in those days. That bite. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply foundation all over. And I don't feel like they spent a lot of time, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do this thing. I feel like they were really rough. They definitely did concealer. And now what we're gonna do is apply a little concealer. I'm just gonna apply a little toasted almond. And toasted almond is a little bit darker than the shade I would normally wear. I usually wear granola. That's also a thing. They weren't like brightening under the eye as much. And I'm just applying it under the eye. And now we're gonna apply powder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm applying it with a puff because like that's also, it's really big in the 90s. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a bronzer and we need a matte bronzer. So I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, which is pretty matte. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. I can't believe this is like how I'm contouring right now. It pains me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna grab this bronzer. I'm gonna grab an angled brush and and kind of going in a circular motion too because it wasn't so like much of a line. I feel like that was like early 2010, it was like a thing. It's kind of more circular. So I'm just gonna kind of bronze the whole face now and not really in any particular like strategic manner, just like. The crazy thing is what I'm gonna do now to finish the contour, I'm gonna finish the contour of this, is I'm gonna add a blush. I feel like we're gonna use these two Morphe blushers. I'm gonna go between this pink shade and this orange shade. It's also crazy because they were so beautiful, but like in our, like nowadays, we don't see it as necessarily correct. They wore a lot of like orangey shades sometimes on their face and then they would have like cool eyes and then brown lips. So there was like no color harmony, which to me is like my biggest pet peeve when there's like no color harmony. But that was the time. So anyways, we're gonna grab this blush. I'm gonna mix the two shades. This is like hard for me to put on my face. Okay, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I wanna do it. <laughs> You do the thing again, and then you just go on top of it the, with a the blush, okay. It's like, this was it. This is the 90s look, it's just, it's not terrible, but we've just come such a far away where we really understand the structure of the face and all those things. And it's just, this was it for everyone, no matter your face shape. And so we're not gonna contour the nose. Aww. Although I do think that they would take a little bronzer and blush and put it on the nose. So the Smoky palette is actually perfect for the 90s. So we'll go ahead and use that. And I, I do like this palette, but it's definitely not the one that I go to on a daily basis. I love the oranges, love the reds, love the pinks, but you did not see that in the 90s. That was like not a thing. No warm shadows on your lids. Kind of crazy. So I'm going to use a neutral brown. We're going to go in with this middle shade right here. And I am just going to go ahead and apply it all over the lid. And again, I'm not going in for any specific shape. I just kind of want to go all over the lid. And I'm not applying too much because I am also recreating Cindy Crawford's looks. The 90s supermodel also was like super playful, super fun, but also very sexy. I'm going to apply a small about um, bottom as well. And again, this is just a wash. And then I'm just going to take a small amount of this nice matte brown shade and I'm just going to apply a little bit right here. 
here in the center. Just quickly do the brows before we finish the eyes. We're gonna use a very dark shade for the brows. In the 90s, it was very, very dark, super dark. And that was kind of consistent from the beginning of the 90s to the end of the 90s. So I'm gonna use shade number six, which I usually use 4.5 from the Benefit Brow Pencil. And I am first going to go ahead and brush my hairs up because they are crazy and curly. So this is a little bit of the brow vibe. It's definitely heavy on the arc, a little triangular. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, I feel pretty angry. I feel like I'm mad. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the pencil side of our life liner and I'm literally just smudging it here on the outer corner. I'm just gonna quickly buff that liner out. I also loved Chrissy Turlington's makeup a lot. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly apply a little bit of a white liner here, which is really big in the 90s. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. So we're going really hardcore with the lashes with the mascara, super hardcore with the mascara because false lashes weren't really like a thing. I'm just gonna apply another layer of a different mascara on top. I always like to apply layers. So we're now gonna do the most important part of the look, which is the lips. The lips were really kind of the emphasis on the entire look. And no matter what time that you were in the 90s, you did a brown lip. And the shape was really, really interesting because the shape of the lip was really to make sure that the top and the bottom lip were the same size. I'm gonna use Spice Girl because it's a very nice brown shade. And I'm going to just kind of make sure that I measure my lips to make sure they're the same size. I wanna make sure they're pretty wide. So I don't know if all of this necessarily suits me right now, but I think collectively everything together will give you a vibe, which is hopefully gonna be Cindy, I hope. I think so, I think so, it's getting there. Yeah, see that lip brought everything together. I'm gonna use a shade from our new collection, which is the throwbacks, which are all super brown. This is called Board Meeting and I love this shade. It's a little bit of a lighter brown and I'm gonna blend everything out together. So you can see that the liner really, really shows, which is okay in those times. I'm actually gonna blend the liner out so it looks like a little bit of a gradient as opposed to a liner. It was like no shame in overlining your lip. And you know, there was no social media, so you couldn't get shamed for that shit or dragged for that shit, which that's kind of great. <laughs> you could do whatever you wanted to do and not get dragged. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the edges because they definitely had very defined lips. It wasn't like kind of messy or a stain. It was very defined. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. You feeling this? I'm feeling myself. Okay. I'm okay, feeling Cindy. Off. Okay, and so this is kind of the final makeup. I feel very inclined to add more, but I really shouldn't. The one thing I will add because it was quite popular also in the 90s is a little bit of highlight under the brow bone. So I'm gonna go ahead back to this palette and that was pretty much all the highlight that would be going on. I'm gonna apply it right underneath the brow bone on both sides and blend it out. I wanna put it everywhere else, but I can't. Okay, so we do want to bring this look completely together. We do have some hair that was really popular in the 90s too. I'm feeling this. I do. I'm feeling this. I'm not going to put the wig on completely properly because I just want to put it on quickly. So I'm just going to kind of color this. So one of the big trends also in the 90s was like this really blonde highlight, which was like super big for Cindy Crawford. Like she was like really, really. <laughs> Hi, she... I'm Cindy Crawford. <laughs> so we're gonna snatch that wig off of her and put it on and this isn't gonna be a proper wig application because i'm gonna take it off but i'm gonna quickly just see if we can get a vibe here cindy don't worry i got you girl i know she's probably stressed because she doesn't look good right now but we're gonna get you and cindy crawford's mole is like right above her lip right here so i'm gonna quickly do a mole here I'm gonna go a little darker around the edges and then lighter on the on the top so it looks like it's actually kind of sticking out because her mole really sticks out. Okay guys, so I am really feeling this look. I actually feel like Cindy Crawford. And this was so much fun to do. It was actually really easy to do. So we want to create a challenge because I think there's a lot of people out there who don't know how amazing they could look doing this challenge. And it feels really good. I feel kind of sexy. I feel kind of iconic, which is amazing. And I want to see you guys create your favorite 90s supermodel look. And make sure you guys post it on wherever you want to post it. You want to do it YouTube, you want to do it Instagram, whatever you do, just make sure you guys hashtag a 90s supermodel just so we can see it. I'm loving this. I think this is like really amazing. And I actually feel like Cindy Crawford. I wanna see your Naomi's, your Christie's, your Linda's, your, you know, whoever it is that you guys loved in the 90s. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was so much fun to shoot. And I actually think some of these makeup trends we could bring back like for good. Cause they're actually, they're kind of pretty. I don't know why we don't do them anymore. <laughs> Loser, loser, moron. Oh my God, whatever. Talk to the hand, read my palm, kiss my ass, bitch be gone. That was like a 90s thing, like whatever. So I hope you guys love this look as much as I'm loving it. Make sure you guys leave me comments down below so I can see everything you guys have to say and I'll see you guys really soon. Love you guys.